Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. This is a love romantic relationship reading for you Sagittarius. I hope you're okay. I hope you're fine. This reading for today, Sag, is for uh, the end of May 2020. All right. What is the message for Sagittarius? Please. What is the connection reading for the Sagittarius friends for the end of May 2020? All right. So in today's reading, Sagittarius, we're going to look at your energy from the past, the situation in the past, your energy, the mutual energy between you and your person, your person's energy, the advice and the outcome, all right, in the immediate future. Okay, let me just move the camera here. There you go. So let's start your reading. You've got here, Sag, in the past position is the... Um, You've got the Mother of Swords in reverse and the Ace of Swords. Someone is trying to make it right, okay? Um, you've got here the Moon card, which is a Cancer card. And it's also representative of the month of June. So the past position for you is that um, someone is selfish or self-centered. There is some logic. There's some um, underlying factors this is what this is a typical example of you said she said or she he, he said she said you said something like that your opinion of it might be a big thingy for you but your person find it petty okay you have a different way of seeing things but the the outcome of you and him or her you want something solid, Ace of Swords. But maybe it's the time frame that you want it to happen. And they could not, I don't know, I feel like they're not prepared to follow or they don't believe on that time frame, timeline. So there is a timeline involved or it's as simple as I want the same thing, but I'm not ready now. Because the Queen of Swords is in reverse and the Ace of Swords is here. It is possible, whatever you want from the past. It is possible, but I'm not ready. And you've got to respect that. And because the other person is ready and the other person is not, it's creating frustration. And that is why you guys are, I don't know, separated. And there's a whole lot of confusion that was produced between the two of you. Okay? Looking at, you know, feeling the energy in the past as a third-party person, as a reader... You know, if, if I was your friend, I would really advise if, if I was a third party person here, not a third party lover, but as a, a third party person, a friend of both of you and him or her, I would I would really suggest to take a break because there's a solution in here. You are at the same page. Look at the moon card. You are here. They're here. And you're looking at the same moon. You have the same agenda. You have the same goal. But the timeline the time frame or the execution of things on how you want to do it and how they want to do it. It's, it's, it's the process of getting there that both of you are not in alignment. Okay. This is a strong connection. It's, 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 it's reminding you that you've got an ace of swords. Okay. You and your person have something, have built something solid. Okay. Right now there's a space in here. And in, in, in the space is the moon card. So there is a confusion. There is, I don't know, argument. There's worries and fears. It isn't the worst. That's what I'm getting in here. Or if you think this is the worst, it's not. Okay. You know why? Because you, ha you have an ace of sword back up. Okay. So do not get frustrated if this person is not available for you and vice versa. It simply is something that you need to respect. And the more you push through, the more you're going to create frustration from you. And it's going to dip in. You know, if you are frustrated, then your energy that's coming out for you is frustration. And it is, tra you're transferring it to the person and to the connection. And it weaks in it. it. It makes it weak. So what I get from the past is that your person have identified that you are not happy. And as much as they would like to... I don't know, go along with your plan. They simply could not think or act or move at your speed or at the level of you want it to be. And that could be respected or 
you can leave it like that. You know, you could walk away or stay until such time that this thing works for them. That's what I get from the past, okay? You're still in the picture. You and your person is still in the picture. This is you. This is them. There's just divided by confusion and worries, okay? This is underlying thoughts, all right? But remember, at the back of the moon card is the Ace of Swords. That once upon a time, you were solid. And when you're solid, you know, it's, it's, it's not something that you could just... You could take a break, but it would remain the, the same way. You still are solid at one point. And at in a point of time in the past or now, you were once in a once in a once upon a time solid. And this ace of sword, it is, you know, it is binded by the infinite sign. Remember that. So don't just walk away just because this person is not ready now. It is now. You don't know what's gonna happen in the future. That's what I get here. It's more of you can survive this. You could stay. You you sh you should not magnify the issue. Okay, that's what I get from the past situation. It is quite bold advice. It's focusing on. It's it's a the past situation for you, Sag. It's a focus on accepting, respecting, and moving on. It's also when you get rejected, you know, tough luck. That, that's it you know you, you'll just hurt and break your own heart if you keep meddling on something that isn't available for delivery or for production something like that you don't want to force people right you want it to happen organically so that's the past situation for you your energy is eight of swords so because something great happened ace of swords i'm not surprised that you've got an eight of swords so you're not able to move forward. You're not able to decide because you know in your hearts that at one point in some distance ago that you've got an ace of swords with this person. Okay. Something great was established between the two of you. This ace of swords, it was challenged right now. This is cut into pieces and it become this eight of swords. But if you solidify your thought and you focus on the ace of swords, and you trust your instinct and your gut feeling that, hey, we've got something great. One issue, this tiny sword, this, is, this, not, this will not de deter how much you guys have. So it's more of don't zoom out on the issue. Zoom in on how you work together. So right now you're undecided. I get that. I also get that you might have made some wrong call or mistake. It's all right. When you are solid, it can you always find a way to fix it. You always find home to to the person that loves you and vice versa. So some some sort of indecision is in is within you. You know your your thoughts, your thought process, your mental process is about should I let go? Should I move forward? You know your this is this is a butterfly. This is a transformation. You don't know whether you cut it out or you let it loose or you keep it that way. But something is, something is heavy in your chest and in your mind that you cannot let go. And I cannot blame you because this cocoon here is, this is something that was built in the Ace of Sword moment, okay? You cross path, you cross path with your person. You build this colorful moments, passion, sex, great chemistry. It is here. It was binded. It is written in the thunderstorm. <laughs> I don't know. I felt like you met this person in, in a time where you are at your worst or there's something happening to the world that you met this person. So you met this person in a challenging situation and they were the one or you were the one who give this light in the middle of the thunder or lightning strike, something like that. So when you remember this moment, this is what makes you sit in the Eight of Swords where I cannot decide. Why? Because there's something wonderful happen in the middle of the night, in that death of death, in that death of dark night, you and this person made this loop of beautiful colors together. You, you know, this dark, this dark night in here, it looks scary, but you and your person made it colorful. Okay, you made it through the rain, something like that. That's why Eight of Swords is here. It's more of, hmm, I can't, I can't forget. I can't let go. Something wonderful happened. 
And this is something that you need to acknowledge, okay? Before you cut, before you leave someone, you need to acknowledge the fact of the beautiful moments versus magnifying the issues and the error, all right? Your person is very patient with you, all right? This is what you have together. They're carrying with them the... um. They're carrying with them the hope and the faith that one day you guys would be realigned together. There's a lot of faith and hope instilled with your person. With the right timing, with the right moment, I will get back to my Sagittarius. They know that you're in pain. They know that there's something with you that you didn't like, you didn't want. Your person is watchful of what they did, what you say. I don't know, they're not very, for some of you, verbal about it, but they are aware of your pain. They are aware of what they did to you. And they're actually wanting and wishing that things would heal. And, you know, this bird is about to fly. Okay, this bird is about to fly and it's about to move. Okay, it's just waiting for the right time. And they don't mind this bird. They, he or she does not mind to to fly in, in under the sun so hot and bring this passion back together. So your person is watchful and thinking of you on the right time that they will approach you, okay? So, and then you've got here the, um, the high priestess is in reverse. So the mutual energy between the two of you, it's mostly like... Um, you're following your intuition, but there's such a pressure attached in following the intuition, okay? Um, high Priestess is about, you know, following intuition and so on and so on. I think both of you are following your intuition and listening to your thoughts, but you're scared, okay? You're scared of this unknown. The, the, the High Priestess card is in reverse because you're scared... That you and your person is not in speaking term. You're scared that you and your person is growing farther and farther. Like you're growing apart. You should be growing together. The longer you stay, the more you become strong. But this challenge that took place, it is drifting you apart together. And this is what causing the high priestess in reverse. Is that this is something unknown. This is something you're out of control. This is something that because maybe you're not in speaking terms, you're not, you don't know what they're thinking and your person does not know what you're thinking, what's in your thought process. That's why you're producing the high priestess in reverse. So follow your intuition, listen to your heart before you do a very big decision making Sagittarius. Because at the end of the line, at the end, at the other side, this is your side, this is your person's side. Your person is still carrying the beautiful moments. Your person is holding on to the beautiful moments. You are more on a giving up, but not yet, okay? I'm really getting in here that you're kind of preparing to give up, but not yet there, not quite there. And because this is unknown, you're not in speaking term, you're scared. I'm telling you right now, the other side of the story of your person is that they're still flying. They're still surrounded by the happy memories you have. They're not giving up. You are. Okay? And then in the immediate future, you've got the three of wands in upright position. So this is the beautiful memories and feelings and passion that you guys have shared with one another. It is kind of trap. Okay? It's trap over there. Three of wands. Then you've got here the Page of Swords. You've got here the Page of Pentacles. Okay. There would be some sort of communication in the future. I think it would be coming from you. I think 40 to 50% it would be coming from you. So this is an upfront reminder that at some point, Sagittarius, you will be very frustrated. You will feel so scared, worrisome, that things aren't moving as fast as it is or as you're not getting stronger okay um because it's trapped something is trapped it could be you it could be them but something of energetically someone is holding back in in the nearest future it wouldn't be it wouldn't be the same it's still not the same it's not yet perfect that's what i'm getting with the three of wands but there's a progress 
Okay, again, it's similar to the past situation where you're not looking at the progress. You're magnifying the issue, okay? Things and situation, it needs time to process. So at some point in the immediate future, you would have some encounter again with your person or you would have some sort of encounter with love. When you meet with love again in, in, in the immediate future, in some time, two, three, four weeks from now, um, don't focus on things that doesn't work. Focus on the development. Okay. Imagine a beautiful. Imagine a film. Okay. You you put it in a manual manual developing of a picture. You know you you the frame the I don't know forgot that 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 brown thing. You dip it in the water. You leave it for two days, and then you hang it, and then you let it develop. Then will turn the real colors will come up. Okay. So. This is, a, this is the advice for you for the immediate future is that when you meet up with love again, when you encounter love and romantic, whether it's someone new or from someone in the past, because I pick up another energy in here, don't just give up just because it's not working on the timeline that you want, okay? Or in the timeline that you want, in the time frame that you want, okay? Remember, this is two hearts merging into one life. That's quite a complicated process, Okay? So having a relationship, a successful connection, a relationship, it's a blessing. You need to take care of it. So don't zoom in into issues and worries. Okay? You focus on the development. All right? All right? <laughs> Sorry. And um, I feel like I wanted to um, extend the reading, but there's it's pretty blunt, you know. So keep keep your keep it steady. Don't be hard to yourself, Sag, and to your person. We're, we are in Venus retrograde in Gemini. So be kind to yourself on how you communicate. Be kind, be gentle, be empathetic, be compassionate with your person, with love. Because, you know, Gemini is, um, Gemini is, is um, v Venus is very comfortable with Gemini. And the dynamic of Venus retrograde is a lot of a lot of people from the past will come back. So if you apply compassion, empathy, and kindness, you would bring out their warmth and their true colors. Okay? So take it easy with yourself. Don't beat yourself up if you want to achieve into something, something, something you you want to happen in terms of love relationship. If it's not meant to be. It isn't going to happen. You're just going to frustrate yourself, okay? In the immediate future, I see two people approaching you. Two people approaching you. So take it easy. Be kind. Be patient. That's where you will see the true colors and their intentions. But if you give them a growl, you know, if you give them that fighting attitude, then I don't think they would join you, okay? So be mindful of that. Um, good luck to you, Sagittarius, and I hope to see you soon. You take care. Don't forget to click like. Don't forget to click subscribe. Bye-bye.